Hi folks and welcome back on my YouTube channel and right here I have a vehicle which is having a pretty big engine in it. This is an MGB GT with a V8 inside. That V8 is producing a lot of heat so I want to give it some extra ventilation and I'm going to do this with a louvre system. And if you don't know what louvre means, uh, this is what it is. It's kind of a metal plate where they have stamped in openings. And that's what we call louvre. And it's nothing more than the metal plate which is stamped out. And I normally you get this done with special dies. And I'm going to fit two louvres on the bonnet or the hood of this MGB GT. One on the right and one on the left. So to create a louvre you will have to have the proper set of dies and actually a press to press it into the metal plate. So if you want to do this on a bonnet then you would have to take your bonnet off and then stick it under a press and then start pressing in uh, those louvres. That is a quite tedious job and quite often we don't even have the dies or we cannot even take the panel off or the panel doesn't fit under the press. So I'm doing this in a little bit of a different way. Um, on my left here, I have a normal HVAC grill. Uh, and this is a Louvre, believe it or not, right? And you can actually see that. And it's even in inox, so it can't really uh, rust at all. So you can buy those in any HVAC store, very cheap. They come in different sizes. And what I've done is I have bought one of those and I've cut out two pieces like this. This is gonna be my Louvre that I will mount on the bonnet on my vehicle. Obviously I will have to cut a hole in the bonnet but you'll see that in a few minutes. But let, you, let me give you a little bit of a close up on how my final Louvre will look like. I've cut a smaller piece out of the bigger one as you've seen, drilled some holes in it, rounded the edges and this is going to be the Louvre I'm gonna fit on the bonnet or the hood of the MGB GT. I will create two of those and then we'll mount it. Easy stuff to do and it doesn't cost you a lot of money, guys. So really all what you need to do is get an inox piece from an HVAC store and that's a louvre. And if you have single pieces, that's great. I didn't have one in the store so I cut this one in two. Then I ended up with this panel which is coming out of that, as you can see. I probably should place it like this. There we go. So I just have it cut out. And then finally I started to drill some holes, rounded off the edges. You've seen me rounding off the corners, so now I'm going to use a Dremel to clean it even further. Because I don't want to have no sharp edges on this. And now I can actually put these uh, little bolts in. And I'm going to bolt this down on the top of the bonnet, one on the left, one on the right. Now that means I will have to cut a hole in the bonnet. Now I'm not going to do it on the orange one. I have a spare old bonnet where I will do it on. I'm going to do it first and then I'm going to paint it. But if you have a car and you want to do it straight on your car, uh, on your own bonnet, which is already in place, that will work as well. The next thing is to build the template and I already kind of marked it. But all what you need to do is actually place your um, louvre onto a piece of cardboard and then just mark it like so and then cut it out. And as you can see I marked also where the bolts will come and I want to cut the piece out of the bonnet which is not this size of course because otherwise the whole thing would fall through but which is about a centimeter less. So I'm gonna mark it like this so I have sufficient space on left and right of these holes. So this is going to be our template and I'm going to check on that because that's going to be the hole that I will cut in the bonnet. And I want to have ample of material all around it. And before I'm really going to start to cut out the pieces in the spare bonnet, I just want to present it on the car to see where I want to fit him and I think this is about where I want him. Um, so I'm going to mark this just as a reference so I know exactly where they will go 
on the other bonnet. I only need to mark it on one side because I'm going to make it parallel. Uh, let's see how far that is. Um, that's about 20. And then the middle, that's about 10. So, good. So now let's start working on the real bonnet. I want to have those louvers in a straight line. So I'm going to draw a middle line on the bonnet or the hood. Now this is a spare one, so I also have to paint it. I think I'll paint it black. So let's go to the middle. Uh, this is 106. Uh, yep, so that's about uh, 53, which is the middle. I'm just going to put a marker and I'll do the same thing on the other side, in the front. 78. So. Right, now I've got two markers. And now I'm going to span a rope from left to right and then I can measure the distance to the sides. So I'm going to use a rope and I'm going to tape it up at the center mark. And I move it to the other side. I will tape it as well and then that way I have a straight line. So, um, I need to place it at about 20 from the top, that's about right, and then we set about 10 from the side, that's good. So let's measure this distance to align it properly and then we should be good to go. So I'm going to place this one at 28 and a half. It's a bit of measuring, but I think it's worthwhile doing it. It's measuring and measuring and measuring. So, yeah, that's about right. That's at 16, 16, looking good. So I'm gonna mark this now. Now, I don't worry about this paint because I have to repaint this whole thing anyway. So it doesn't matter that I'm using a paint-based marker. All right, now let's do the other side. So I got the louvers in place and now it's time to drill out the holes. And I'm gonna drill the holes before I've cut out the piece out of the bonnet. So I'm gonna mark those. Because if you don't do it this way, you're gonna end up drilling holes on a very narrow edge. And that, of course, is not going to work that well. And it's better to drill when the bonnet is still intact. All right, so we've drilled the holes and I think it's a pretty good match. And you probably saw it while I was drilling that the panel went down a bit. But can you imagine if you would have cut it out beforehand? Uh, how bad that would have been to drill the holes. That's why you need to drill the holes first. So now we're going to mark the part that we're going to cut out. This is the most important part of all, of course. And you want to make sure that you have sufficient edge around it. So let's do that now. I'm just going to mark it again. There we go. And that's the part we're going to cut out. So to cut this out, I'm going to be using a Dremel with a very fine disc. 
but you can use whatever you want. But I like this tool better because it really does a good job. So, let's see. So we are done. And here we go. Done. So we made the two holes and now it's a matter of cleaning them up and taking the sharp edges off. Because you don't want any sharp edges. And to finish it all up, I'm going to sand down the edges a bit more with the drain. The holes are all now drilled and now I should be able to place the louver up. There we go. So all what we need to do now is to bolt it down. And this is how it looks like on the bottom side. So folks, uh, this is about the end of this video. Uh, you'll see the end result after the bonnet has been painted and finally mounted. Uh, but you could at least tell now already that it's very easy to fit your own louvre without any special tools. Just go to a local hardware store and get your um, louvre panel for HVAC and then just cut it in pieces and then you can cut out the piece on your car and then bolt it down. Or at least that's what I do and I think this is quite nice. Uh, but that of course is a personal opinion, but I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. But stay tuned because I still want to show you the final result after the bonnet has been painted and everything is mounted. Mm -hmm.